Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel, the only gun channel on the internet that's dripping with that BDE. That's right. Big Dad Energy. How do you find Will Smith in a snowstorm? You look for the fresh prints. That's probably my favorite one of these jokes that I found here recently. I'm David, and today we're gonna to be talking about the P320 Spectre Comp and the P320 AXG Legion. Now, both of these guns are awesome. I've done videos about these before, and you should watch those videos. It'll make you a better person. Not really, but I would sure appreciate it. So in this video, I am going to definitively pick a winner between these two guns. Now, these two guns have a similar, well, really the same mission, but they kind of accomplish their goals different ways. The P320 Spectre Comp is a TXG grip module, which is laser etched, so it provides a little bit better enhanced traction, but it is still a TXG module that has this weird hump at the back, so your hand doesn't seat the gun quite like it does on the AXG frame. The gun is appreciably heavier, like five or so ounces more, and it has about a four and a quarter inch barrel before the compensator starts, so it doesn't lose as much velocity. The downside to that comes in the form of the slide doesn't really give you a lot to hold on to. So gun handling with this gun is a little bit more challenging. Moving over to the AXG Legion, the advantages this offers is it is the aluminum frame, which in my opinion, next to the 226, this is probably the most ergonomic gun frame on a production gun. The slide serrations are enhanced. However, the opening at the end of the slide is much larger. Now the way a compensator works is gas is expanding as the projector moves down the barrel. When it hits the expansion chamber, it kind of opens up and diffuses. Because the Spectre Comp has a smaller hole at the end of the compensator, it hits the compensator baffle and then goes up and out the comp, whereas just larger because the way the barrel kind of tilts, it has to be a bigger hole to allow the barrel to tilt like that. The end result is that the integrated comp doesn't work quite as well as a traditional compensator, but the recoil reduction is definitely noticeable. The upside is gun handling with this gun is a bit better. The enhanced slide serrations, in my opinion, are the best on any of the P320 lineup. You're not likely to get onto the compensator, but the slide does heat up a lot when you shoot it. Alongside with those ergos, are removable grip panels. Uh, you can put grip panels that make the gun absolutely fit your hand. These are lock grid lock grips. And you too, before we go any further, no, these guns are not modified internally or any of that kind of nonsense, so miss me with all that. And that's really what it's gonna come down to, is that kind of two philosophies on the same style of pistol. Will the heavier weight frame of the TXG help it recover from recoil faster, as well as the benefit of being able to aim it better? Or will the AXG Legion, which is lighter weight, but has a superior traction and superior ergonomic, be more stable in hand despite its lighter weight? So that's what we're trying to answer here today. So going to my gun club, which doesn't let me film there, I chronoed these guns and I used the benchmark of the AXG Pro. This is the 4.6 inch barrel to get a baseline reading on some Bellom 124 grain ammunition. So the Bellom 124 came out of the muzzle of the AXG Pro at 1083 foot per second measured at the muzzle. Predictably, the Spectre Comp, which has a longer barrel before the compensator, only lost about 14 foot per second at 1069 foot per second, so not not too bad. And predictably, the AXG Legion lost significantly more velocity at 1044 foot per second when measured at the muzzle. And as always, talking about ammunition in compensated guns, guys, don't use 147 grain projectiles in a compensated gun. You can do it, but you're not getting the benefit of the extra gas of a high velocity load. And the way that compensators work is they redirect gas up. The pop and jump of a lighter for caliber high velocity projectile is basically completely gone when you shoot it out of a compensated pistol. All that's left is the light pill exiting the muzzle, and that is a very tame recoil impulse. Whereas with the 147, the pill weighs whatever 20%, 30% more, and therefore you have more hit in the hand, and there's not as much gas working the comp. So evaluating the guns practically, I set up a steel array of two C-zone pieces of steel and two 12-inch plates, and set up uh, firing lines at 10, 17, and 25 yards. Now, the benefits of a compensator are not readily apparent at close range targets, or I should say, the benefits are not as easily discoverable. But when you introduce distance, that's when you really begin to appreciate the compensators. And predictably, shooting at 10 yards with both guns, I didn't really notice a difference. I mean, the hits, I, mean, I didn't miss any targets. The hits were the same. The speeds were pretty much the same. There was really nothing to see there. The heavier gun is not heavier enough to where coming out of the holster was noticeably slower. Transitions were roughly the same. I didn't really feel anything 
different about either guns. I like them both. Moving back to 17 yards, that's when I began to appreciate the stability of the AXG Legion. Now the AXG Legion, because it has better traction on it and it has better ergonomics, it just felt more planted. I felt like I was able to drive the gun more precisely. The recoil impulse I noticed to be quicker and I felt like I could shoot the gun faster. Now, when I say that the recoil impulse is quicker, the spring rate appears to be lighter in the AXG Legion than in the Spectre Comp. This just takes more effort to move. Moving back to 25 yards, it became very clear that the AXG Legion was more to my life Liking to shoot practically at that distance. Oh wow, so that's five duff shots out of the AXG. Wow. So as many as I duffed on the AXG, I duffed, I don't know, probably eight shots on this. They were they would have been deltas, basically. But the there's more bounce than there is on the other gun. The recoil seems a little bit slower, little, but I, I think I definitely prefer that AXG. But as the question going in my mind, what happens with accuracy? So we're gonna go on paper now. The number was higher with the Spectre Comp. I was slower, I was more careful, and yet and still, I was still rewarded with more misses with the Spectre Comp. So being a man of science, obviously the next step is to shoot build drills. So I set up the target at 13 yards, and originally it was just one of the C-Zone steals. I was just gonna run the trigger as fast as I could to get slow-mo footage and see what was going on. And I ended up doing this twice, once on steel and once on paper. When I was shooting on steel, I felt like the AX was faster, but then putting it on paper, I was able to keep up with the Spectre Comp and the results is the group size was largely the same and that's running the trigger as fast as I can. I'm not trying to adjust for sights. It's just letting the gun do whatever it's gonna do based on my grip. Now, fair warning, I don't spend a ton of time shooting P320s. Like I'll go in fits and starts where I shoot a gun for like a month, then I put it on the shelf for a couple few months, come back to it. So my grip is not tuned up and my timing of the gun is not set up on P320s right now. So this is, this is the AXG. You can see through one Charlie. I was able to keep them all in the A zone with the other gun, the Spectre Comp, but you know, just. But in my mind, that's kind of a good thing because it shows how the gun moves in a competent grip without somebody who's like deeply in tune with the gun. And what the slow motion footage is showing me is that the TXG grip module doesn't suit my hand well. There was significantly more movement. Like the gun was kind of twisting and recoil. My grip was not balanced on the gun. It was kind of going up and right and coming down and left and the groups are indicative of that. So the final test was because the AXG Legion has this little itty bitty baby barrel of only 3.9 inches. The jokes write themselves, guys. I'll let you fill in the blank. I'll give you some time. Okay, cool. Because the barrel is shorter on the AXG Legion, I was curious at the 25 yard line, knowing that it was not getting the same velocity as the other gun, if the group would open up at all. What I ended up finding out is that I have a better zero on this gun than I do the other one. The group sizes were basically the same, although the TXG scored much higher just because the zero was a little bit better. I needed to dial in a couple clicks to the right for the AXG Legion and a click down, which, you know, say la vie. So the score was higher, but the group size was the same with the TXG. So I'm basically gonna call that a tie. And in this instance, I think the tie goes to the AXG because it didn't open up the group size. It held a comparable group size to the longer barreled gun. So yeah, uh, tipping my hand there. Yeah, the AXG Legion is my preference between the two guns. I just can't get past how comfortable and ergonomic the AXG grip module is. It's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love the AXG Pro as well, which is the non-compensated version of the same gun. And when you put good bitey grips on the frame, it's just, especially these little palm swell ones, it just becomes really, really nice. So I'm a big, big fan of the AXG grip module. And when you slap the slide integrated expansion chamber to use six speak, when you slap that on the front of the gun, the gun is just super pleasant to shoot. This is a very nice shooting gun. And I definitely would say that, you know, side by side, I prefer the AXG Legion. So this isn't a video to say where like you're dumb if you pick the TXG module. Lots of guys actually prefer the shape of the TXG module. They've gotten used to it. They stabilize the gun brilliantly and they do some very high level shooting with this grip module. 
I'm not one of those guys, but this is absolutely a preference thing. I think either one of these guns, you're gonna be really, really happy. It's basically a tie where tie is gonna go to your preference. In my case, I prefer the AXG. I think it's a little bit nicer, but at the same time, this is still a really nice gun to shoot as well. So let me know in the comments, which gun would you pick between these two? As always, I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.